Well, as Boris Karloff would say, good evening. I'm Paul Cox, and you have tuned in to an amateur hour of music. Uh, the music is definitely not amateur, but your host is. So we're going to take it easy, and uh, we're going to have a good time, and we're going to listen to some music. It's been, I hope everybody's really enjoyed the um, convention so far, learned a lot. Uh, we're going to relax a little bit. Some of it's going to be educational. Some of it's going to take you down. But some of it's going to build you back up. So uh, I hope you enjoy this selection that we have put together. Um, I thought that uh, Becky was going to be on with me, but maybe later. Um, since the convention is, again, virtual, rather than being uh, having a guest musician for the whole music event, we decided to play various recorded songs from several of our members and allies uh, there may be a couple of people presenting live tonight, but uh, otherwise we have videos, uh, some of them drawn down from YouTube, some of them from uh, the musicians have sent us these direct videos. Uh, VFP and our friends are, have some quite talented songwriters and singers and pickers, and we've pulled that selection for you. Um, if the person or group has a website, I will try to put it in the chat as we go. And so you can reach out to them and watch other videos of their uh, amazing art. Uh, this last year, we lost one of our troubadours, George Johnson. And we dedicate this program to one of our true characters now gone. For several years, the group Annie and the Vets, consisting of Phil Flager and Annie Flager and George, played and sang for VFP and peace groups up and down the West Coast and across the country. Once George found Veterans for Peace, he worked with it tirelessly for the rest of his life, printing and selling VFP merch and serving on the board. But most recently, he was the co-founder of the Deported Veterans Project in Tijuana and a prime supporter of it up to the day he passed. Um, Jan Ruman, who's now carrying that flag, made an appeal today for money. Uh, so uh, if you haven't thrown all your money at VFP Inc. already, then maybe if you could go to the Deported Veterans website and help them out. They're helping a lot of really down and out veterans who've been thrown out of the country for no good reason. So our first oh, song. Hey, that, wait, that brings up a question. Is that um, if somebody donates to a project directly, does that count toward the matching grant? Do you know? Well, we made the matching grant. So that, that's, that's a dumb oh. deal. We made that in with in spades. We did fine. Yeah. Um, so no, it doesn't need to. Um, and they can donate through VFP, you know, through the VFP website, or I'll try to find the link for uh, the Deported Veterans uh, website so you can find them directly too. So uh, our first song, Touch a Name on the Wall, was written by Joel Mavis and played by Annie and the Vets featuring the melodious George Johnson. Born with a gift of a golden voice, as Leonard Cohen would say. So, Touch a Name on the Wall is first up. We're going to do a song now that actually it's a song that brought us together. It's uh, called Touch a Name on the Wall by Joel Mavis. Oh. What happened to the sound? Oh. I was afraid that was happening. I forgot. I, no, should learn I heard the sound. That. The sound hey, was going. On. I know what I did wrong. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> nice job, Paul. What? Nice job. Um, <laughs> start all the way over. You ready? Go for it. We're going to do a song now that actually it's a song that brought us together. It's uh, called Touch a Name on the Wall by Joel Mavis. <laughs> Thank you. 
I guess you could call it our summer of freedom. The year that we both turned 18. Fresh out of high school, we hitchhiked to Denver. Thought we was a sight to be seen. That was the year that you dated my cousin till they took us away in the fall. And I surely wish that you were here with me as I touch your name on the wall. Touch your name on the wall. Touch your name on the wall. Lord, help us all. Touch a name on the wall. Every time I come here, I wear my fatigues to honor the men that I knew. I touch every name of the ones in my outfit. Say them out loud as I do. Some people say these men died for nothing, but I just can't rightly agree. This brother here didn't die for no country. He died for me. Touch a name on the wall. Touch a name on the wall. Lord, help us all. Touch a name on the wall. Mostly walls are made to divide us. They separate me from you. But God bless the wall. That brings us together, reminds us of what we've been through. And goddamn the liars and the tin-plated heroes who trade on the blood of these men. God give us the strength to stand up and tell them never again. Touch a name on the wall. Touch a name on the wall. Lord, help us all. Touch a name on the wall. That was George. We'll hear from Manny and the Vets again a little later in the program. So the next up. Um... Uh oh, hang on, hang on. Touch your old tanks in the old love and wise. Sorry. You can't play. <laughs> Somebody needs to mute themselves. He is lost. What if I stop it? <laughs> I, I don't know, but I muted you, Becky, because that's where the sound is coming from. Becky's got a video playing in the background, so why don't you talk while Becky works it out? Oh, okay. Well, our next our next uh, piece of music comes um, from a bright young talent, uh, Ruby Shirley, uh, who's uh, Josh Shirley's ten year old daughter, and she's going to sing a song for us called "We Are Here." which was recorded a few years ago by Alicia Keys. Is that ready to roll? Hang on, I'm just getting reoriented. Okay. Um, I, I could roll that if you want. No, I got it. Is it the, is the We Are Here or the Rebel Girl? We are here. We are here. Okay. Hi, I'm 
slowly but surely. I'm 10 years old and I'm going to be singing We Are Here by Alicia Keys. We can't see it, Becky. Not at all? Or is it just real low? I just see your file names. Hi, I'm Ruby Shirley. I'm 10 years old and I'm going to be singing We Are Here by Alicia Keys. I'm, we're still not seeing it. Sorry. Um, Becky, I could do it if you want. We are here. We are here for all of us. We are here for all of us. Becky, we can't see it. Yeah, Becky, Becky, I'm gonna, I get, let me, I got a video going, so let me try it, okay? Okay. Let me, yeah, I, I got this. I don't know what's going on, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> it's all. Good day. So, we so sad. I'm 10 years old, and I'm going to sing We Are Here by Alicia Keys. Can you turn the volume up at all? That's the volume. Okay. So that we could love each other, brother. We oh, are here. I'm sorry. I don't know how many more times I'm going to do it. We are here for all of us. We are here for all of us. That's why we are here. Why we are here. We are here. No guns in Harlem. But yet crime is a problem. They want to shine, they want to rob him. Single mother, where they come from? How they gonna save a nation? We're not so for education. Cause right now it don't make sense. Right now it don't make sense. Let's talk about our part. My heart touch your heart. Let's talk about, let's talk about living. Had enough of dying, not what we all about. Let's do more giving, do more forgiving, yeah. Our souls are brought together so that we can love each other, sister. We are here. We are here for all of us. We are here for all of us. That's why we are here. We are here. We are here. <laughs> wow. Indeed. <laughs> um, next up, um, Pat Scan was a long-term member of the Smedley Butler Brigade in Boston and a prolific songwriter and musician. Uh, he recorded this video, video a few years ago with the participation of a number of VFP chapters. Um, this is Extremist 
for peace. They call us all extremists Cause we're out here in the street How unpatriotic Veterans for peace They say we gotta watch them Like never before Cause there's nothing more dangerous Than veterans against war They stand on every corner with cameras in their hand Take a film and snap and pictures Of everything they can Upload photos, write reports On everything they saw Protecting all our citizens From folks who broke no law They've been watching us so long They know us to our core They know we're peaceful veterans Who know the cost of war Because we've seen the horrors And the price we always pay They've got to document Everything we do and say They call us all extremists Both are out here in the street How unpatriotic Veterans for peace They say we gotta watch them Like never before Cause there's nothing more dangerous Than veterans against war Wars are rackets spent they said 80 years ago 30 years of fighting, he once ran the show. A two-star major general who had something to say. When we go to war, a few profit, many pay. But they call us all extremists, cause we're out here in the street. How unpatriotic, veterans for peace. They say we gotta watch them like never before. Cause there's nothing more dangerous than veterans against war. They got Homeland Security, FBI and DIA. State and local police, don't forget the CIA. We are so important, a clear danger to the land. Can't let this love and peace thing get too far out of hand. They can listen anytime to anything we say. Eyes and ears are everywhere thanks to the NSA. Read our emails and our tweets, monitor our calls. Fourth Amendment, just be damn close, they're above the law. They call us all extremists, but we're out here in the street. How unpatriotic, veterans for peace. They say we gotta watch them like never before, cause there's nothing more dangerous than veterans against war. their brick, play all their tricks, wasting all our dough. All those files and photos with nothing much to show. So we raise our voices here today to let them know it's time. Stop hassling the peace groups, go back to fighting crime. They call us all extremists, cause we're out here in the street. How unpatriotic, veterans for peace. They say we gotta watch them like never before. There's nothing more dangerous than veterans against war. Cause there's nothing more dangerous than veterans against war. song now.
Okay. Um, next up, um, Sharon Abreu, Abreu, sorry, and Michael Hurwitz, uh, also known as the Earthlings Duo, have been singing together for 25 years or so about peace and environmental healing. They've sung in concert with Pete Seeger, played at the United Nations, and at the Ground Zero Center for Nonviolent Action. They opened this convention uh, earlier yesterday uh, by playing uh, the excellent song Carbon Bootprint uh, during the climate crisis and military workshop on Friday. Um, um, Sharon, are you, are you going to do that live or are we going to play your video? No, nah, we're going to go with the video. Okay, so here we go. We Maybe. can jump in and do it live if you want, though. <laughs> Give us a moment. Give us a moment. <laughs> Oh, and this, this one is called Peace Room. <clears throat> Hold on. Am I doing this or is that one? I thought you were, but I'd be happy to. Is it number one or two? Well, I'll, I'll do it, but I, I just, I might have the same problems I do with the Ruby one. Let me give it a try. Number two, please. I can do it.
<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. That was really quite wonderful. I really appreciate it. Um, you've been making music for a long time and you really do a good job with it. So thank you. Um, so uh, Peter Tracy is a Vietnam veteran, a member of the chapter 71, I believe in Santa Rosa. Um, he's uh, a, a prolific songwriter himself uh, and does these uh, little ditties from time to time. So this one is uh, a tiny little planet. On this tiny little planet Spinning through the galaxy A grain of sand upon the beach A drop of water in the sea This is our one and only home But we're not treating it that way it can only sustain so many people There's already too many here today Animals and plants that live here with us Have begun to disappear When they're gone, they're gone forever And more are disappearing every year Billions of years of evolution Have got us where we are today As we evolve so have our weapons In an hour we could blow it all away Life to continue on this planet There's many things we need to do We're gonna have to work together And it may take some help from me and you This is our one and only life As far as anyone can see on this tiny little planet There may be time for us to change our destiny through the galaxy a grain of sand upon the beach a drop of water in the sea and Leslie in her monologue she said um, she's originally from Minnesota so I tried to kind of do her accent she was in Minnesota Arizona Colorado so she says um, Got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that comes later. Um, so I don't know if people noticed, uh, but some of the animal he was showing all those animals with these beautiful animal pictures, and there was one bright yellow fish with an elephant snout on it. It was like I think that's a Photoshop job. I think unless that fish actually exists, I don't know. 
but I thought that was a pretty funny uh, thing. And I also that when I hear that song, I'm always reminded of the galaxy song from Monty Python's meaning of life movie, but we don't have to go there. We're not going to play that tonight. Um, so I think next up um, we have a, um, a, a fellow named Jason Moon, who I do not know, um, trying to find my way home. Uh, he's a, um, he's a, an Iraq veteran and, uh, and did this, this video called trying to find my way home. Ellen or Becky. Becky's doing all the YouTube. How do they expect a man to do the things that I have Come back and be the same The things I've done that I regret The things I've seen I won't forget For this life and so many more And I'm trying to find my way home The child inside me is long dead and gone Somewhere between Lost and alone, trying to find my way home. And I've seen another side, another slice of the pie that didn't seem too fair to me. People who did not deserve the sufferings that they incur, freedom ought to be free. I'm trying to find my way home the child inside me is long dead and gone Somewhere between lost and alone I'm Trying to find my way home Whether we lose or win I'm so sick and tired of the spin Don't think I can take any more Truth must stay in disguise, hidden beneath all the lies. What were we fighting for? And I'm trying to find my way home. The child inside me is long dead and gone. Somewhere between, lost and alone. I'm trying to find my way home. Daddy's went away, he's come back and he ain't the same as the man that you used to know. And I'm trying to find my way home. The child inside me is long dead and gone. Somewhere between lost and alone. I'm trying to find my way home. Sitting here with time to kill, staring out my windowsill, trying so hard to forget. The time I may forgive myself, but 
history repeats itself and burdens my soul with regrets. I'm trying to find my way home. Child inside me, long dead and gone, somewhere between lost and alone. Trying to find my way home. Lately it's occurred to me It's hard to fight an enemy That lives inside of your head I spend my life in between The sleepless nights and the bad dreams I think I might rather be dead and I'm trying to find my way home A child inside me Long dead and gone Somewhere between Lost and alone, trying to find my way home. So how do they expect a man to see the things that I have come back and be the same? Thanks for that, Jason. So um, <clears throat> uh, we're going to see if, um, hear another uh, wonderful song from Ruby Shirley, Rebel Girl, the IWW song. Uh, that ain't it. <laughs> Uh, this is the one on it's on google yeah. Doc. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. i know i know i know I, i'm I, on I, it i just i don't have the playlist so uh so i wasn't ready oh. i wasn't ready you're cheating <laughs> hold on coming right up yeah i, I want to apologize this is all new to me like i actually sprung for a premium subscription to youtube today so that i could help out and <laughs> I got, I figured out how you can download stuff, which as far as I can figure it out, you're not really downloading it. You're downloading it to a special area of YouTube. And then from there, you can play it offline or something. But does anybody in the audience happen to know how you turn off the autoplay feature so that when you're done watching what you wanted to watch, it doesn't just keep feeding you what it thinks you want to hear. I mean, all I can say is, you know, I would say it out loud, but I would be breaking the code of conduct. Okay, yeah. here's some aggressive here's Ruby again. Uh, Someone put that in the chat. At, at YouTube and all those corporate apps that try to do our thinking for us. I mean, what is this AI <laughs> stuff they've been talking about? I, what, I mean, is it artificial intelligence is kind of an oxymoron in a way. I mean, anyway, don't get me started. All Let's right. get back on the music. I yeah, think we already okay. did get you started, and uh, oh. you're doing a fine job. I'm 10 years old, and I'm going to be singing a song called Rebel Girl by Joe Hill. There are women of many descriptions, and this cruel world is everyone. Finest of clothes. There are blue blooded queens and princesses who have turns made of diamonds and pearls. But the only and thoroughbred lady is a rebel girl. She's a rebel girl, a rebel girl. She's the working class, the strength of the sea. From Maine to Georgia, you'll see. But fighting for you and for me Yeah, she's there by your side with her courage and pride She's an equal anywhere And I'm proud to fight for freedom With a rebel girl Though her hands may be hardened from labor And her dress may not be very fine But a heart in her bosom is beating that is true to a 
boss and a guy And the bosses know that they can't change her She died to defend the workers' world And the only and thoroughbred lady Is a rebel girl She's a rebel girl, rebel girl She's the working class, the strength of two Maine to Georgia you'll see her fighting for you and for me we've had girls before but we need some more the industrial workers of the world and it's great to fight for freedom with a rebel girl okay isn't that just fabulous? Jeez. I just want to point out that she had an IWW shirt for this song as opposed <laughs> to the BFP shirt she had for the other song. She even did a wardrobe change for us. No doubt. No. <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you so much. Uh, well, we're going to take you back down. Um, uh, John Standen Evans, uh, The Creek Don't Rise No More. There's a possibility he's a member, but we have two John and Evan, Stan, uh, John Evans, and we couldn't figure out which one it was, and they didn't. Either one of them respond to my phone calls. What are you going to do? Yeah, we can. Well, it's going to be on for. Well, I mean, I'm just curious. This, this, how this little segment did. I'm sorry. Who's speaking? I muted them. Okay. It's the lower one on the left hand side. There you go. Can you uh, do full screen, Becky? There you go.
Is there time? Is there time to turn the tide? Is there time? Is there time? Well, that was a powerful song. Uh, well, next we're going to be hearing from Peter Tracy again. Uh, it, it's a wonderful world. Peter Tracy from the Santa Rosa chapter. There it is, yeah. Don't know much about history know much about integrity don't know nothing about a science book he has the ethics of a low-life crook but he does know how to play the press and as a con man he's a big success what a dangerous person is he with every passing day he's more outrageous Supporting folks and putting kids in cages. Republicans have really showed some class. They go along with him and kiss his ass. And even though he is a big disgrace, he can really fire up his base. What a dangerous person is he. Now I'm not saying that he's a dictator, but he's tried to be liar and a traitor like every dictator with contempt for democracy he doesn't try to hide his bigotry he is well known for his misogyny but the machine is showing signs of cracking the time has come for us to send him packing for way too long he has been out of reach but now Pelosi's moving to impeach. What a wonderful world this could be. The greedy people that he represents have no respect for liberal governments where folks have health care and security and have a say in their democracy. When people learn how to cooperate, Rejecting fascism and fear and hate. What a wonderful world this could be. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Another good one. Uh, we're going to hear from him one more time, but uh, first we're going to hear from Cat Stevens. And, uh, oh, Cat Stevens. 
Cat Stevens, the Cat Stevens, uh, singing. Well, he's it's uh, it's one of those uh, big things done by uh, Cat Stevens' song, uh, played by a whole bunch of really talented musicians called Peace Train. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, do it for me. Don't know my. Now I've been happy lately Thinking about the good things to come And I believe it could be Something good has begun Oh, I've been smiling lately Dreaming about the world as one And I believe it could be Someday it's gonna come Cause, Cause I'm, I'm on the edge of darkness There rides the peace train Oh, be strength and take this country. Come take me home again. Now I've been smiling lately, thinking about the good things to come. And I believe it could be something good has begun. Peace strength, sound and louder. Slide on the peace strength. about the world as it is why must we go on hating why can't we live in bliss Yeah, you don't hear from Cat Stevens anymore since he decided he didn't want to be an American anymore. But he's an ex was an extraordinary person and musician, and still is. So, um, next we're going to hear from Peter Tracy one more time. Uh, help from your bass. Help from your bass.
<clears throat> Did you share a screen, Becky? <laughs> you look like you're having a good time there. I thought, ah, oh, music must be playing somewhere. <laughs> I can't hear you. I was just saying it was funny from my end. I wasn't seeing any of the Zoom stuff. And I was like, oh, I wonder if Ellen turned off all the Zoom <laughs> windows. OK. Here we go. What would you do with some top secret files stashed in your basement somewhere? If a grand jury sent a subpoena to you, would you act like you just didn't care? Oh, you get by with a little help from your base. You're gonna try with a little help from your base. You get high with a little help from your base. What would you do with some nuclear secrets when the feds wanted them back? Would you be surprised if they raided your home, complaining you were under attack? Oh, you get by with a little help from your base. You're gonna try with a little help from your base. Yeah, you get high with a little help from your base. When they ask, you for them you just continued to stall did you plan to sell them or just put them up on your wall if you lost an election would you just assume it had to be stolen from you would you rally your base for an insurrection and try to stop the vote with a coup Oh, you get by with a little help from your base You're gonna try with a little help from your base People die with a little help from your base With a little help from your base Caught me with my mouth full. Um, I think it's uh, Earthlings uh, time again. Uh, Sherem Abreu, um, movie one. How about the one down below, the arrow down below at the bottom? There you go. <laughs> One of them. I'm beyond sad. I'm beyond mad. I've had all that I can have, and I can't take it anymore. I'm beyond sad. I'm beyond mad. Yeah. 
Thank you, Sharon. That was um, yet another powerful song. Really appreciate it. Yeah. You. you have a beautiful voice. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to play Jacob George next. Is that the next one on your list? Yeah, I think uh, then Jacob George, then Pat Scanlon, and then uh, George Johnson. We'll do that. Is that okay? So Jacob George. Uh, was, I'm sorry? I just said you're the boss. <laughs> Uh, you're the boss of this show. I mean, you can look out, this, right? Yeah. No, look out. So um, uh, Jacob George was a three term Afghanistan veteran who came out of the war very quite disturbed. Um, and he did an album of song called Soldier's Heart, uh, album of songs. And the album was called Soldier's Heart. And this is the uh, title song out of that Soldier's Heart. Because every time I 
As a sad coda to that song, Jacob George killed himself in 2014. So next we're here from the inimitable Pat Scanlon, another picker of a banjo. And uh, war is not the answer. And Pat is with us tonight, by the way, so we'll try not to screw it up too bad. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> The answer never was, never will. We will never live in peace unless and until we learn to love each other, not bomb, maim, and kill. Cause war is not the answer, never was and never will. Think of all the weapons we make around the world. Investing brains and money in the best ways how to kill. If we could use that money for the betterment of man care about each other, there'd be peace throughout the land. War is not the answer, never was, never will. We will never live in peace unless and until we learn to love each other, not bomb, maim, and kill. Cause war is not the answer, never was, and never will. Think of all the children who suffer due to war. Think of all the families together, never more. Think of all the soldiers who lost both life and limb. Oh, when we fight the battles, no one ever wins. War is not the answer, never was, never will. We will never live in peace unless and until we learn to love each other, not bomb, maim, and kill. Cause war is not the answer, never was, and never will. With the world of weapons, think what we could do. Jobs and education, universal health care too. Invest into a future, imagine how it'd be. A cleaner environment, peace and harmony. War is not the answer, never was, never will. We will never live in peace unless and until we learn to love each other. stands at the gate if we join together and finally decide to have the peace that's waiting on the other side war is not the answer never was never will 
We will never live in peace unless and until we learn to love each other, not bomb, maim, and kill. Cause war is not the answer, never was and never will. Some may say we're crazy, stupid, and naive. We will never live in peace, cause wars will always be. Well, I believe it's possible if we join hand in hand to create a better world with peace in every land. Cause war is not the answer, never was, never will. We will never live in peace unless and until we learn to love each other, not bomb, maim, and kill. Never was and never will. Thank you, Pat. Those are those are powerful songs you did. Those are really good. And you know, getting all of the uh, other chapters involved was uh, was really a stroke of genius. Um, we're going to wrap up the show tonight with one more from Annie and the Vets and our dear departed George Johnson, uh, Knee Deep in the Big Muddy. Thank you. 
Well, that's all I've got. Um, I really want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I hope that this uh, little random selection of songs uh, from some of our VIP members and many of our allies um, has been worth your time. Um, I see we have 48 people here tonight, and that's, uh, that's a good crowd. I'm, I'm very pleased after a very long day and a long business meeting. Um, that uh, I, I really appreciate people coming. And I want to thank Becky, especially, and Ellen, Barfi, uh, Ellen Davidson for um, providing the tech services. I couldn't have done this without them, period. So, uh, um, so thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, does anybody have any burning last comments they would like to make? I'd like to make a uh, suggestion that we have the, the the peace train come right through. Everybody <laughs> should get on the peace train. <laughs> this is what we have to do. We have to get it going. All right. We're, we're on the right track. Now we need more people. Okay. <laughs> have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sat Beer, you had something you want to say? Well, I, I put in a request to sing a song, so I'd like to just um, have a, a find a way to have a better understanding of how to get on board to sing something <coughs> you know, with you all. I'm not I'm not saying you should prolong it now. I'm just saying I'd like to be able to. Okay, well, I, you know, we put this together at the last minute. Uh, why don't you let us know when, when uh, we can get you on the next time? Or if you want, are you going to sing a cappella or you got an orchestra? Exactly. I'm very low tech. <laughs> I'm well, low tech. Um, I, I have no objection to you. Uh... Okay, I'll do it like I'll do a kind of a lullaby for us. Okay. <clears throat> Clouds of war once hung so low. Clouds of war once hung so low. Clouds of war once hung so low. And now there's peace through all the land. And o'er the deep blue sea, love of life has turned the tide. Love of life has turned the tide. Love of life has turned the tide. And now there's peace through all the land and o'er the deep blue sea. Sleep, my friends, we are safe and sound. Sleep, my friends, we are safe and sound. Sleep, my friends, we are safe and sound, for now there's peace throughout the land and o'er the deep, deep, deep blue sea. Thank you for letting me share that. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing it with us. We appreciate that. And uh, it's nice to meet you. You're a, you're a, you're a, a boot here, I think is the term in military. There. <laughs> um, thanks. Th a recruit. How's that? Been a little bit better. Um, all right. Anybody else? I, I, you don't have to sing. If you just want to say something, that's fine. And, and uh, but we need to, do need to cut it off pretty quickly. I don't see any names. People can it, also go to go to the social room. Uh, I think the link is right in that convention area of the website. So once once Paul 
closes this door, we can, if people are still awake and still want to visit or sing or whatever, we can meet over there. Uh, Ellen just put the uh, link for the social room in the chat. So if you want to go to that. Okay, I think that's going to cut it. Um, so thank you all for coming and uh, we will see you either in the chat room or the social room later tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know what time the schedule starts, but about 11 o'clock. So thank you so much, Becky and Ellen, for your help. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Bye.